I'm Dr. LaDonna Boyd presenting the curriculum lesson for the week of October 24th, 2021. The title of this week's lesson is Our House and it comes from Psalm 84. You can follow along with us in the Adult Christian Life book from R.H. Boyd. God desires for us to yearn for Him and long for Him above everything and everyone else. Do you long to be in God's presence or do you desire to be elsewhere? Is it a delight or something that you only do out of obligation and ritual? I'm sure that most of us have been guilty of letting our minds wander while sitting in church services, or maybe not devoting as much time to our prayer and church life because of our to-do lists. But let us remember Psalm 84 verses 1-5. through five. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed faints, for the courts of my Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praises, Selah. Happy are those whose strength is in you, and whose heart are the highways to Zion. God is worthy of us to sing about and to, and even the sparrows find refuge and a home within His dwelling place. How many of us yearn for a safe dwelling place, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally? In this scripture, the psalmist makes it clear that the presence of God is where creation truly desires to be. The birds long to be in the temple, and those who dwell with God in the temple are happy, even the birds. There is nothing like being in the presence of God. For the psalmist, this meant that he desired to stay in the temple all day, every day. While we may not be able to live in the house of worship, we can be amongst those who long to be in His presence continuously. God desires us to be at a place where we want Him more than anything else. In closing, let us think of Psalm chapter 90, verse 2. When we position ourselves to wait on God, we are saying, I want to know God, the God that declares, before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from the beginning to the end, you are God. Again, I'm LaDonna Boy, and I hope that you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Also check us out on our social media accounts at RHBoyCo and our website at www.rhboy.com.